I'm Gifty Ashley Amega, Managing Director of Ashton Pharmacy Cape Coast. In 2019, June, I gave birth to my little boy. And I think somewhere in September, I started having this challenge with my knee. It was swollen. I did a lot of tests. Everything was perfect. I was even at URK for an MRI. So everything was perfect, but the swelling was still there. You know, people were buying Koa, but I hadn't tried it before. So I said, well, let me give it a try to see if I'll be okay. And in less than four weeks, the swelling... My name is Professor Samuel Atudankan, the executive president of the Center for Awareness Global Peace Mission, uh, the producers of Koa FS. I'm Dr. Caleb Mauli Agbane, um, a senior lecturer at the Department of Biochemistry, University of Cape Coast. I've known uh, Prof. Duncan for well over 10 years. I remember when he used to come to University of Cape Coast campus with his product, looking for a chemist or anyone to help him distill the product so he could conduct his studies. Koa FS is known among its consumers as an immune booster, but the founder's main aim was and still remains to find a treatment for HIV AIDS. The research was to find something to support the immune system. So the FS was developed as something to support the immune system. And uh, we also realized that it also has antiviral properties. So once it is boosting your immune system, it also has the potential to also reduce the viral burden. According to Samuel Atudankan, researchers at the KwaZulu-Natal University in South Africa conducted further studies on Koa efforts and said it had great potentials that needed further attention in the area of research and development. So we went to Mampong, Center for Plant Medicine Research. They did the first test on the uh, microbial analysis, the phytochemistry analysis, uh, acute toxicity and chronic toxicity of the product. After it has passed that test, I came to Noguchi to do uh, efficacy study against HIV. It was actually recommended by FDA because I went to FDA to register it as an HIV drug. They said I should do the efficacy test first. So I went to Noguchi and the result was within 12 hours, within two hours, it was 70%. It was able to eliminate 70% of the uh, stop virus. Six hours, it was able to take care of about 80% of the stop virus. 12 hours, they say. So I concluded that if uh, a product has such efficacy against the HIV, then it could be a potential cure, a potential treatment for HIV. But unfortunately, it became um, a subject of uh, contention. Due to the difficulties in getting authorities to support him, he was advised to register Qua FS as an immune booster. As a biochemist, I know what an immune booster is supposed to do. So I got some for my in-law, uh, a brother-in-law who has issues with TB. I noticed a dramatic change. I suggest one uh, bottle on Qua. I got weak when I walk a while. So it was introduced, I decided to, to take it and uh, I take 10 mil a day. And after a week, second week, I realized that um, I started get, getting my, more or less, in, it's, it's an immune system booster or a food supplement. So I, aside the food that I use, I, mean, I take, I decided to take this. And I realized that everything about me has really changed. Together with uh, Prof. Nouveau of the medical school, we developed a proposal to carry out a limited clinical study of this product, CoIFS, uh, on TB patients. And the, it was adjunctive immunotherapy, which is a big word, but it just means combining uh, uh, anti-TB or anti-COX medication with CoIFS. 
but for the uh, delay in procurement of chemicals and the recent issues with uh, COVID, that study would have been more than halfway through by now. In March this year, the director of the Noguchi Memorial Center for Medical Research, Professor Ibrahim Kwabinanang said, Kua FS as an immune booster could prove useful in managing COVID-19 until a cure was found. On 25th March, a link to the story on Professor Anang's Kua FS comment was posted on a WhatsApp platform which had some top officials of Ghana's regulatory institutions. One head of a state regulatory institution posted the link and said, Director, is that true? This story has been trending on myjoyonline.com and we need to be ready to provide robust evidence-based answers. Another head of a regulatory institution also said, So bad. The following day, on March 26th, officials of the FDA were at the Kua FS manufacturing facility in the central region to pick samples for testing. And when he came, it was clear that his agenda was to just to find fault. Because they needed robust evidence-based answers so that they could pin down the Kua FS. And the history, history of Kua FS from 2015. We keep our documents for five years so you can... At the head office of the FDA, the head of laboratories, Erika Karibwatin took me through the process of how the Kua FS tests were conducted. The first one was on samples the FDA collected from the market on March 19, and the second test was conducted on samples which the FDA collected from the Kua FS factory on March 26. The samples from the factory entered the records of the FDA on March 30, and the results were ready on the 7th of April. The report is dated April 8, 2020. This is the report. Does not comply. Total yeast and mold high. Total aerobic micro. Oh, can you shoot? Okay, don't worry. It's in the book. So you, out. Yeah, yeah this, this is out. And then this was then this was. So you can see from the system that we finished the report on the seventh. So what date is this? The eighth April. So what is this? Analytical report of the CoIFS. What date do you see here? Thirtieth. Does it match with the one in the system? Exactly. Yeah. So this is the physical chemical, and then there's the microbiology. That's not also on the same yeah, date. That's not comply. According to Mr. Boatin, the first test, which was conducted on the samples collected from the market, did not establish the presence of E. coli in the core efforts. The first one is the one that you saw up. That was a post market complaint from the. This one was picked online from the factory during manufacturing. So we wanted to trace where the contamination was coming from. And we could, from this, you could see that it was coming from the factory. Because this, even the crew before bottling, we record date and time, time stamp and everything. And it's part of it. It's a requirement that you need to use. So you can take it to any laboratory. We don't care. Everything that we use here, even the media that we use, we have to test to see if it is good. That standard organism. So that's why when an accredited, we are issuing reports. We can tell you that. So I'm sure now when we tell you that we've certified something, you would not just sit down and say, oh. Before FS is making a point that they are at a factory, the is a container that was used to pick a sample. It's the same container. No, no, no. Uh, oh, no, no, no. They gave it to us. And so with your own container. See, see, this. It's the same container. It's the same container. You can ask them. It's just, I mean, you know, this is just, it's the same contact. What, you know, you think we'll go to a factory and we'll go and use a different, no, 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 no. It's just the same container that they've released. Yes, so they, they are claiming that normally they sterilize them before bottling. Uh, but because, uh, who gave the container they, they, they to us? They didn't know what was going to be used for. Then that, that means they don't understand manufacturing. They knew we were sampling. So if they don't, they don't understand manufacturing, if they knew we were sampling, they would have said, oh, wait, let us sterilize it. That's the same. I hope you get where I'm coming from. The FDA, based on the test and visits to the factory, suspended the production license of Qua FS and ordered the company to recall its products. A visit to the Cape Coast office of Qua FS saw hundreds of cartons of the product recalled. 
they were later destroyed by the FDA. Yeah, um, I heard the announcement that the, the drug has to be called because uh, of it contains something. And I said, hey, is that getting to my end? That's the question I asked myself. Since the FDA came out, we are, we are in a fix because majority still work in demanding the COA. I think a woman came here Monday and said her mom was down with stroke. And when she started her on the COA, she's up. So she's been giving us pressure to try to get her. So we are waiting to hear from FDA if the ban will be lifted anytime soon. The letter suspending the production of Kua FS was dated March 31st, 2020. It among others stated that the reason for the suspension of the product was that it contained E. coli. E. coli, according to the FDA, causes diseases such as diarrhea, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. Meanwhile, the results establishing the presence of E. coli in the product was dated April 8, 2020. Going by these dates, it means the letter had already been written and the reasons were stated even before the results of the test establishing the presence of E. coli were ready. The CEO of the FDA, Mrs. Delis Mimedaku said she would not comment on the core FS matter when I contacted her. But there is more to the FDA and core FS tussle. According to Samuel Atodankan, there was foul play in the processes leading to the suspension of his product. He alleged there was an attempt by a top official of the FDA to extort money from him. On the 8th of April, I had a call that uh, I should come to, I should come immediately to FDA. There was something that the FDA lawyer wanted to discuss with me. Who called you? The FDA lawyer. On the 8th? On the 8th. About what time? It was around 10. In the morning? In the morning. Okay. Uh, prior to that, I had discussed with her that uh, I've seen some, something happening. So I needed her, I needed her support. Because I felt that um, being a lawyer, she would be the best person to look at the scheme and help us out if there was anything. So when she called me and said I should come, I said, oh, I'm not well, so I can come on Monday. She said, oh, if I'm able to come on that day, it will be good for me. Then I asked my driver to take me to Accra. What day of the week was it? Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. Wednesday on the 8th. Okay. So when I came close to the um, office, then I called, and she said I should wait for her at, the, at Gimpa, uh, Gimpa Gate. So, so you were supposed to go to her office yes. at the FDA? Yes. But she called that you should wait for her at uh, Gimpa. The Gimpa, the Gimpa. Gimpa Gate. Okay. So she came to lead uh, my vehicle and asked me to follow. So we followed. So we went to a restaurant, a close restaurant, where I don't know, no, but it's around um, Gimpa, it's on there. So that was where, I don't know the area, but she sent me there. So she asked me what help I wanted from. I said, oh, well, um, I know that there's a scheme, something, some people are planning to stop, destroy the brand. So I just wanted her to help me stop that. They said, okay, no problem. Give me all documents that you have on your product. So I said, oh, then I'll go and bring them to you. Then she asked. Um, how much are you ready to give to madam? That was why I became alarmed. So, well, let me prove further because uh, I saw the whole thing as a scheme. So let me follow the distance and see where I was going to, uh, we're going to end. So that's okay. So if you said, how much were you ready to give to madam? Which madam was that, she referring yeah, to? Yeah, the, the CEO. The CEO of, uh, of FDA, FDA, yes. And um, well, I know the I know the woman, and uh, uh, she's a friend. She's close. She respects my respect a lot, and she has never spoken to me on matters like this before. So when she said that, I said, "Okay, well, I do not know, but I will give you two hundred thousand Ghana cedis." Then she said, "Oh, two hundred thousand Ghana cedis is too small." 
make it hundred thousand dollars. I said, okay, now I'll make it five hundred thousand round. He said, okay, how much are you giving to me also? I said, oh, I'll give you hundred thousand Ghana cities. Okay, where is the money? I said, oh, I don't have. I don't have the money, but I didn't know that I was coming to pay money. So I can give you a check. So no, I don't want check. I want uh, cash. While giving the money to the FDA's head of legal, a short video and a photograph were taken. The money was put in the booth of a VW saloon car. At the head office of the FDA, the parking lot of the head of legal, who is alleged to have taken the money, had a VW saloon car parked at the time of our visit. So I had to come back to Cape Coast to take 600,000 Ghana cities the following day on the night. So when I came, there was, uh, she said I should come to her office. So when I got to her office, I said, okay, you come, sit down. I said, oh, by the man, so he's in the car, I said, yes, let him be there. We have this letter and we are suspending your, your license and uh, you can recall all the medicine because we, we found that there were, um, some bacteria, some pathogens. Exactly this is the scheme as far as suspected you people. Uh, what you were actually up to. Then they gave me the letter. I met the Mimi, that's the CEO. She spoke. She explained everything that, oh, uh, this is what they found. And she said a lot. And I was quiet, so I took the letter and went back home. But before I left, then she asked me, the, the lawyer asked me to sit down, to wait for her. So I went to wait for her at, uh, before her office. She came down and said, okay, so, mm, so what do we do? I said, okay, then we have to go there. Where is the money? I said, oh, it's in my car. So I go and wait for me at the plaza, GS Plaza. The hotel close to? The hotel to close to, so I come and leave you. Okay. So we drove to the place. Also, with some kind of curiosity, trying to know what is actually happening. If this is true, if it can be turned this way, it can be turned that way. So I led, she led us into our entire road, then uh, we stopped in the bush. So I paid the money myself and went to give her, put her in the car boot. How much is this? I said 500,000. How much is this? 100,000. And she said, oh, uh, okay, I hear. So I left. We left her there, and uh, myself and my driver and my uh, daughter. Samuel Atudankan said after negotiating and taking the money, the head of legal at the FDA called him later in the day to come back for the money. So when we were close to Kaneshi, I saw, not Kaneshi, I saw a missed call, so I called her. And she said, oh, eh, Prof, I've called you, but you are not picking. And the madam says she doesn't need the money, so you should come for it. I said, OK, they are coming for it. So I've already gotten home. When are you coming back to Accra? So I will come back. Uh, I'm going to Kipko, so anytime I can, I'll come. OK. Then she started talking about, uh, you, you said you were going to give me $100,000. You ended up giving me 100000 Ghana cities. And I started, you know, you didn't say that. You said, look, I'm a lawyer and... Uh... In a phone conversation between the two, the head of legal is heard saying, among other things, that the amount agreed on was not what the core FS CEO presented. You are the best person and you did this deliberately. I am very certain of that. Oh, no, it's we not have true. Have listen. I have all sorts of clients. No, no, so, no, listen I to me. No, listen. Listen to me. I am not like that. Seriously. I am not like that. So, yes. The whole discussion we spoke, there was no, there was nothing about hundred thousand, uh, hundred thousand cities. So there oh. could not have been any agreement about hundred thousand. You oh. can, that, 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 there was never a mention of hundred thousand cities. Oh, that is so, what I'm a lawyer and I'm, a, I'm an astute lawyer. I do serious practice. You know, so all the tricks in the books I know, but I'm oh, not interested oh, oh, Dabi, in the Dabi, 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 Dabi. So Dabi, I don't get involved in them. No, you. there were no tricks in it. Seriously, 
You know, first I mentioned 200,000 Ghana cities. For her. For her. Then yeah. he says, well, then I said, okay, then let me. So the five, when I say 100,000, I made the 100,000 dollars. I made the 500,000 uh, Ghana cities figure. Then you ask, so how much do I give uh, you? And I said, oh, 100,000 Ghana cities. Oh, but you oh, didn't hear me. He so never said that. He said, hey. Oh, oh. I'm a lawyer. I do, but I need my own clients. I need them. Am I not your client? No, you're not my client. I'm an FBA person. Oh. You are not my client. Oh. oh. Cynthia Dapa and Toh said, even if the CEO of Core Efforts was giving the CEO of the FDA the city equivalent of 100,000 US dollars as agreed, the amount would have been more than 500,000 cities. When are you leaving Accra? Oh, I'm going back to Cape Coast. How oh, Jesus Christ. No, so you can always come and pick it up, right? Okay. Who calls you? Okay. Uh-huh, because, uh-huh, and I did this as a test drop. You see, you said you're bringing her 500 and bringing me the same, but you brought different amounts. So I was testing your honesty. Yes, oh, oh, you did. Oh. Yes, so Baby, that's what we are doing. Baby, what I said was, oh, then I didn't hear you. Oh. Oh. I said I was bringing her 500. That's hundred thousand dollars, but you are bringing hundred thousand Ghana cities. So, pardon, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get it that way. Sorry. No, I did that deliberately. Just, oh, I just remember I'm a lawyer. Dabi, 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 Dabi. No, no. Why should I do this deliberately? You didn't start. You didn't even start with giving her five hundred. You started with giving her two hundred thousand. Is that not correct? Yes, for it? yes. And I said, how can you give her that? Yeah. And they said, okay, bring her hundred thousand yeah. dollars. And I asked you a specific uh, question, and how much? He said, oh, the same amount. Oh no! That's what he said, oh, we never yeah. discussed the oh, hundred thousand. Oh, 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 oh no! no. Then I didn't get it. That um, look, what I thought was, I said a hundred thousand uh, Ghana cities. You didn't say anything. When I said the five hundred thousand, I said I will make it five hundred round. So instead of hundred thousand, you be five hundred thousand round. What what does that mean? Because hundred thousand dollars, if you were giving her that, would translate into five eight seven. Is that not correct? Assuming you are giving her CD equivalent, that's five eight seven. That is it. But me, I just wanted to test the person working with. Oh, you oh, see, oh, if oh, you oh, be oh. faithful, because you see, no, and I told you. I'll help in that you grow without anything. Oh, listen, Basically. Listen. And I cannot even be sure that you, as even I give it to her, you're not going to mention her name. Based on what I've Not at by. all. Never. If Madame said she didn't want, why was she not taking hers? Because at the point she took the money from me, she knew what it was meant for. Mm -hmm. She requested this. Why did she return hers? Well, she returned both. She returned both. Yes. So did she tell you why she had to return hers? Yeah, because it was not up to 500,000 Ghana cities. And at the point she was taking it, she gave you the indication that Madame knew about what she was doing. That's the CEO. No. What she said was, uh, she initially didn't tell Madame. But when she told Madame, Madame says she should give it back. I said, okay, fine, then let me come and pick it. That was where she started the argument that it was uh, $100,000 that she was, $100,000 that she negotiated for. I turned out giving her the $100,000 Ghana cities. But she met you on the 8th of April, and that's when the negotiation as to how much you would give was made. Yeah. Then she went back to the office, you traveled, came back the following day with the money. So between when the negotiation was done and when the money was received, did she say she didn't uh, tell the other recipient, that's the CEO, about it? No, she didn't tell me anything like that. But she, she told me that um, that is the 500,000 was for the madame and hers was the 
100,000, and that is how we agreed on. But she didn't tell me that. Um, she told me she would tell Madam, <laughs> because uh, if you have never discussed anything with somebody, you cannot say you are going to take money for the, the person. And to come and pick it before you say that I, the person didn't take it. On the 8th, they had already suspended your product. No, that is on the 9th. Uh, when did you get the letter of suspension? On the 9th. So why was the money given if the suspension was already yeah, that, communicated that, to you? Yeah, that, that is why, uh, that's what I didn't understand. But I, I... So at, at the point of giving the money, in your mind, what did you think it was? I thought it was, to me, mm -hmm. it was something that I was giving to uh, prove that they had an agenda. Did you but, see it as a bribe being taken from you? Yes, I saw it as a bribe. I saw it as an uh, extortion. And you know you were not supposed to give. I knew I was not supposed to give. So why did you give? Yes. Because of the, the plan, the scheme. Because well, something has been um, planned to. So I was looking at if that one could. Because on, with all this, I made uh, the, the BNI also aware that this was what was happening. You told the BNI about this extortion? That is it. The process? The, yes. Which BNI? Um, regional. Accra Regional Accra Office. Regional office. That they were extorting and you were giving money? That's it. Was an official statement taken from you to that effect? Oh, not official statement, but I sent all the, uh, the information, the, the videos and the uh, conversation to the PNI. Yes. When was this done? It was done on the night, the same night. That same day. That same day. You gave the money. Yes. Okay. So, how important is integrity for this regulator, the FDA? Interesting. I think that as we walked up here, you saw our anti-corruption signs. It is key. It is number one. Because I don't know a regulator that will not act with integrity. Everything is a balance, okay? But everything is based on the fact that you have integrity. Because um, usually I use um, a quote from one justice, of course, it's not in Ghanaian, but we are guided by it. It's, it's called Lord Brown Wilkinson. He says that deliberately looking away even is an offense. So it's not enough for you okay to say that you put away but even if you decide to look away for the wrong to be done then you have done something wrong so it is key to the regulator okay i ask this question because in this current controversy there is an allegation that on the 9th of uh, april mm. you met the owner of qua fs mm. and then took an amount of 600,000 ghana cities mm. is that correct um manasse it's interesting i did get the questions that you put to me, but this was not part of it. But suffice it for me to say that these matters have been investigated and I would rather not make a comment on this and allow the investigation to continue. My sources at the Bureau of National Investigations, BNI, say the bribery allegation has been investigated, but I could not get details of the outcome. Both the CEO of the FDA and the head of legal affairs declined to speak on the bribery allegation when I first approached them in April this year. They said the matter was still being investigated. Six months later, I wrote to them to respond to the allegations so that I could proceed with the story. The CEO has since not replied the head of legal affairs, however, responded within 24 hours, requesting that I give her the tape recording between her and the core FS CEO to enable her to help in the investigation. I wrote back to her saying, I didn't often give out my evidence to subject of my investigations while the investigation was still ongoing, but in her case, I would give it to her 
on condition that she answered the substantive question of the request, whether or not she negotiated and took the money before returning it. She has since not replied. In a letter dated August 7, 2020, the FDA lifted the suspension on the manufacture of Kua FS after the company addressed what the FDA said were the most critical deficiencies identified by the regulator. In another letter dated September 1, 2020, the FDA ordered Kua FS to limit the indication of the product to general well-being. According to the FDA, Evidence does not support the claim that core FS could support the immune system. But that was not all. The manufacturer said the FDA compelled the company to change the name of the product from core FS to core mixture. They said it was a prerequisite for the renewal of the production license. The product has been relaunched and is now on the market, but a number of questions still remain. Why did the head of legal negotiate and take the money in the first place when she knew it was a bribe which she was not supposed to take? What has become of the BNI investigation? And if the CEO did not sanction the taking of the money, what internal procedures did she take when the issue came to her attention? It also remains to be seen what becomes of Kua 72, which the government of Ghana has set up a committee to work towards finding a cure for HIV-AIDS. Manasseh Azore Arene reporting.